Oh, guys, my first tennis lesson, and they already put me in a game. Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna train a lot. You can't miss this episode. It's really cool. It's me, Sabi Chano, and I'm here at the Academy of Palestana de Tennis. And today, I came to take a tennis lesson, guys. Do you know what this is? It's a tennis racket, but be careful. With a tennis racket, you can't keep doing like this with your friends. It's not for hitting anyone. It's for just hitting a ball. I've never taken a lesson before, and Carlos and Mari are going to help me today here. I'm going to take a super special tennis lesson. If you've never had one, if you've never played it, it's super easy, guys. It just takes practice. There's an easy mode, and then you increase in the difficulty. And today, Carlos is going to teach me. But people, you know that there are more than one type of tennis ball. It's not just that yellow ball. There are several other types. Uh, Carlos, explain to me how do I start playing tennis. Uh, how does it work? Hi, Sabichano. How are you? Uh, all right, man. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, guys, here's the thing. This depends on a lot of how old you are, okay? And uh -huh. from the age that you will start to learn. So we have some tennis balls that are ideal for children. Uh, under five years old. Here is between five and seven years old. Here is with eight years old, nine and 10 years old. And for those of you who they are already the future, uh, Rafael Nadal, Jovic, Jovic, right? Or Roger Federer, okay? Okay, Savichano, we're gonna start playing. You'll see that it's not, there's not much difficulty. You'll start yeah. very calmly. So let's start with each of the balls so you can feel the progression for you to see. It's uh, how different they are and how they will help you learn faster. Okay, how do I hold the racket? Is it just hold like this? Okay, here's what you're gonna do. The first tip I'm gonna give you is you're going to pick up the racket as if you were greeting it, okay? Hi, racket, how are you? That's it, say hello to it. You're already making friends with it, okay? That's it, very good now, very good. You already know the waiting position. This is the most important thing, is for your action on all sides, so that the ball comes from any side. Is this how I wait for the ball to arrive then? Very good, perfect. And now what do I do? Now we're going to start doing some little tests with the foam ball. It's a softball. It's a good ball, a ball that doesn't hurt anyone, and you can play with it, okay? It's okay. When you throw it, I hit it back to you? You'll hit it back to me. Uh, let's see if you can hit it back to my hand, okay, Sabi Chano? Come on, let's see. Let's go. Wonderful. Very good. You're very good. Come on. Very easy. Good. Yeah, that one was more or less. But at least I managed to hit the other side of the net, right, Faye? Faye is watching here. Faye is impressed with my skill. Very good, eye on the ball. Now we're going to change it. It's going to get a little more difficult. We're going to have a red ball, okay? Let's go. Come on, Sabichano. Nice one, right to my hand the ball came, yeah? This ball's a little heavier, isn't it, Carlos? Yeah, this ball's a little heavier. This ball has 25% of the speed of a professional one, okay? So let's go, let's start making good hits. Great, Sabichano. Here we go. Yeah, beautiful. Again now. So now you're almost a professional. Marina's gonna play ball with you, okay? And now you're gonna hit the ball. So come on, Sabichano. <laughs> take it easy, huh, Mari? Definitely take it easy. Come on, let's go. Very good, there. That's great. That's great. Yes, look, it went to the left. Very good, Sabichano. That's great, all right. Starting position between one ball and the other. Very good, he's almost a professional now. Great, how wonderful. Oh, that one was wrong. Okay, now we're gonna get a little harder. Nice. Let's see if you're really almost a pro and go with the orange ball. Let's go, guys. Mary? Oh, it's very good, uh, but I can keep up with her. Very good, Sabichano. Excellent. It's getting hard, huh? Very good. Nice. I want to see if you can get this one. Good. Sabichano, I'll teach you a trick. A trick you can't... Hey, yeah, come on. I'm listening here with my, with my big ears. You can let the ball bounce on the ground once like you were doing, or you can catch it without bouncing. Yeah? Okay. This, we call it a volley. Volley is when, when you get it in the when air. When you get it in the air. 
So you can hit the ball, then you come close to the net and put it in the corner of the court, okay? Uh, okay, got it. Okay, so now let's see. But it can't bounce twice on the ground. You can never bounce twice if it's not the opponent's point. Nice. Ah, nice. More, there's more coming. That's not that easy. More or less, not so simple. Not simple. But you can do it. All right, let's go. Always a drop, just like this. Yeah, nice volley. Let's go, more over the net, just like that. Come on, another great volley. Great, another volley. You know everything now, Sabichano. Very good, beautiful. I can hit the ball like that, right? Marina's point. <laughs> uh, but Marina's really good, guys. She's been playing this since she was a little girl. First time I'm playing this. Uh, guys, I just finished my first game here with Mari. Actually, not a game. I, I took a class, my first class. Of course, she gave me a hard time. I had to run my butt off there. But I managed to learn a few things. And for those of you that want to learn, I'll give you a super important tip. One of the most basic exercises of, of tennis is that you have to have control. It's a good exercise is to balance the ball just like this keep it bouncing and balancing and turn the racket to the other side oh I made a mistake <laughs> but keep balancing and balancing and hitting and balancing and another exercise you can do is to hit it to yourself off of a wall on the wall of your house of course look you're not gonna do it near things that can break in your house right guys you have to take an empty wall and start doing this so make sure you ask your dad or your mom anyone before you start playing but guys be careful not to hit someone else okay one of the most important things in the game of tennis is knowing where the ball goes so you won't be throwing balls and hitting balls like crazy at your house and hit a bunch of things you won't be doing that with the racket so be very careful it's like bows and arrows so you gotta know exactly where you gotta play and now guys for us to finish this episode we're gonna see a super match between carlos and marina who are the two professionals here from from the club let's go are you guys gonna play now You can see that they play really well, right? So I'm gonna stay here and see if I can play a little more later, but I'm gonna stop here. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, until the next video. Bye-bye.